Hey, hi, Vibers. What's going on with you guys? How are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful, awesome day. Okay. Now, hi, Vibers. I got another deck of cards that I am going to unveil. Um, and we're going to go ahead and jump into a reading with these cards and see what messages Spirit has for the collective. Okay. All right, my love. So please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless. Okay. All right. I got these from Amazon. Um, I ordered another deck off for S Epsi. Um, and so I'm excited for those to come in the near future. We have what lies beneath. Okay, this is a deck that has hidden features. Okay. Futures. I said features. Excuse me. Futures. It's 3.35 in the morning. Excuse me. <laughs> so, we're going to see what this is about. Okay. All right. Well, let me go ahead and open them up. Clean them up. And let's get the show going. Okay. Hold on, y'all. There we go. All right, let's see. Oh, and um, it's 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 so many decks that I want to get. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put a wish list up on the channel because those decks, I know the messages. It's going to be amazing, but they are expensive. I mean, and you know, I'm gonna invest. So I was told to put up a wish list, so that'll be coming um, in the near future. As soon as I figure out what is going on with the description boxes in my videos, I mean, if you click, I have to refer you to previous videos to get the information on the channel because as soon as I get to type in, it freezes. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? So um, I've been looking into it, but I'm not getting no answers. So if anybody have any suggestions or advice about how I could fix that problem, please put that in the script description, uh, description, excuse me. See the comment box below. Okay. Mm, but let's see. Oh, shit. I opened up. <laughs> I opened the deck and we have tired of the drama. Mm. Well, let's go ahead and see what's up. That's what lied beneath. Somebody tired of the drama, setting the record straight. Okay. Let's go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through to the tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and light. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. All right, let me get a little Palo Santos in the... You know, they already talking. And so somebody here, and <laughs> they're just tired of the bullshit. Somebody fixing to tell somebody the truth is what I heard. That's mm, setting the record straight. Okay, or somebody else tell somebody the truth to get the record straight. Truth about a lie. Mm. Yeah, somebody. Yep, yep. Just tired of the lies. Mmm. Damn. Okay. Well, you know, and this, I'm recording this video, um, 4th of July morning. And what, 3.40, 3.39 in the morning. And, uh, yeah, it could be some drama going on over the holiday weekend. Well, we gonna see. What's up under there? Burning evidence. Somebody burning some evidence. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it. Mm. All right. 
Let's go. Okay, hold on. Let me tell me to get some of this too. All right. Okay, all right. Well, this shit. <laughs> so, some of this dragon's blood. Why well, say Okay. And I love this too. This and Palo Santos together. Okay. Somebody is clearing up some negative. Yeah, they're going through. Yeah, they're going through that battle. Cleaning it, cleaning it off of themselves. Cleaning it off of you. Cleaning it out of the house. Cleaning it out of the family. Oh yeah, because the truth about a lot that came out. Yeah. Hmm. What's going on here? Let's see. All right. Oh yeah. Let's clear that up a little bit more. And ooh, uh uh. Hold on, y'all. Amber, uh, Amber. Somebody named to be Amber. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. All right, there we go, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see why y'all said this too. All right. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah, it's drama. And somebody's tired of it. Shit. Her situation is about to explode. Okay. Shit is about to pop off in flames. Setting the record straight again. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go. Let me clean up a little bit. Okay, I think we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Good. Okay, let's go. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what messages do you have for the collective for the upcoming holiday weekend? Let's see. Or when they see this video. Whenever you see this video, collective, this is going to be the time that you're going to receive a message or two, okay? Also, too, if you hear any car horns, dog barks, bells, whistles, anything like that that goes on during the reading, that is confirmation of what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> Let's go. So, somebody got confirmation of what they're saying. Uh-huh, setting the record straight. Okay. Somebody got some proof about the truth about a lie. Oh, child, and it's a mess. They, they didn't, didn't even want to come together. Okay. Mm. Oh, envy. Okay. And putting on the show. Keeping you a secret. Somebody want to pop off. I ain't no secret no more. Look at this. This is the third time. Setting the record straight. Somebody is adamant about getting the truth out there, getting the truth where everybody be on one accord or on one understanding here, okay? Somebody is very adamant about getting to the bottom. Oh, shit, they already got to the bottom. Oh, no, this is a confrontation that's happening. Somebody getting confronted about the truth or about a lie that somebody found out the truth about. Yeah, somebody is getting confronted. About a lie that somebody done found out the truth about. And it's going on during holiday weekend. Probably at the barbecue. I'm just saying. Damn. That's what lie beneath. It's just bubbling under the surface. Somebody in the collective. that You can feel the all oh, shit. If such and such come. Or if so and so come. all oh, shit. Uh, confirmation, thank you. A truth about a lie, yeah. It's almost like they, people are speaking on it already. They, 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 gos I'm gonna say, go well, yeah, gossiping, okay. Talking about it already. Okay, let's see. Holy Spirit, what do you have to tell us? What do you, what do we, what do the collective need to know that's lying beneath? What do the collective need to know? Somebody's keeping you a secret or somebody is keeping a secret from you. First position. Shh, this secret coming out. Mm. A 
It's feeling like somebody keeping a secret from you. Yeah. Okay. Some of you guys don't even want to hear it. Okay. Don't want to hear this. I mean, because you know. Tantric sex. You know. Emotional intelligence. You know somebody is having tantric sex. Somebody all in their feelings because they getting played. This could be you or your person. Because if somebody was fulfilling a fantasy, now they know they know they fucked up. Now it's total driving. Drama, excuse me. <laughs> Lights, camera, action. Uh-huh. I feel drama queen or king. Somebody here is insecure. Yeah. Fake ass apology. Keeping the promise. Somebody coming with a fake ass apology, but they still gonna get kicked to the curb because you done went and investigated some shit. Let's see. The secret. Oh, so what? You keeping a secret because you know somebody's secret? Oh, shit. Damn. That's, that's what's it feel like? Keeping you a secret? Mm. It's making me feel like collective. You know the truth about a lie. So you keeping that secret a secret. Huh. Oh. Mm. Waiting for the right time to pop it out. Shit, this situation is about to explode. It's make ooh, burning inferno. This look like two people in here in this fire pit burning somebody ass. I had go to hell expecting new beginning. Somebody pregnant. Let's go. What else can you tell me? Keep that's why. Oh, somebody got somebody pregnant and they're keeping them a secret from you. That's what I'm getting heavenly. Yeah, or this could be you, pregnant, and somebody keeping you a secret. What else can you tell me? Holy Spirit, thank you. <laughs> caught. Finding evidence, getting caught cheating. Oh, shit, I told you. You saw you guys, you know the truth about the secret, and you keeping it a secret. Sexual protection in the police. You, this police, it's almost like sexual protection and keeping you a secret in police. Somebody got caught. Mm. It's almost like y'all wasn't so, whoever they got pregnant, they weren't supposed to be fucking with. Oh, that's why they're keeping them a secret. Oh, shit. The police could get involved if somebody find out. Because they all in their feelings and they putting on the show because they got played. They going to set the record straight. They adamant. Okay. Because somebody was fulfilling a fantasy. They all in their head. They can't get it out their head about the truth about a lie. Somebody got caught getting the room. Receipts is what I heard. Whether they was away on business, pleasure, or they just, yeah. They know they fucked up. Because shit, total drama, likes camera action. Because somebody was over here promiscuous, fucking everything is what I heard. Sleep around, okay? Just just a hot mess, free for all. Sleeps with your man. Fighting for what you love. You be, ooh, getting ready. Already knowing the tea. See? Already knowing the T. Oh, you fixing to drop them bombs? Oh, what? Oh, you gonna confront? Oh, shit. Child. I mean, this could be you collective or this is going on around you. Oh, you your person. Either this is you with your person or this is your person going through this shit. Getting caught up trying to keep somebody a secret from you collective. Mm. Male or female. Take the message how it resonates, but this feels like this. You know it's clear cut. Yeah. This is confirmation for some of you guys this here reading. Let's see. Holy Spirit, one more. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Somebody trying to burn the evidence of fucking around, cheating. Still trying to keep that person a secret. Pregnancy? <laughs> Somebody unsure? About a pregnancy test? They trying to burn the evidence? 
Because somebody ain't got no money, bank failure. Somebody trying to burn the evidence that they were pregnant or they got somebody pregnant. But somebody going to get caught up. Somebody found the evidence. I heard an investigation with that police energy. Somebody taking this to the grave. They, mm, they going to lie to your face. <laughs> well, they got video proof. You got video proof on the jumbo screen. And this motherfucker still going to lie to Amy. <laughs> this is the type of energy that is here. Oh, my God. This one right here is a coward. Male to female. Like, a, just a... Ugh. Just like a for do for do. Like, you can't... No accountability. No backbone. This is a spineless motherfucker right here. Mm, insecure. Shit, because they outdated. They old. They discarded. Shit, somebody time has passed them. <sighs> That's what I'm getting. I said the prime. Private relationship. <sighs> They've been fucking with this person for a minute. This private relationship is outdated now. It's done ran its course. This it shit over with. But they still trying to keep it a secret. Yep, it's over because the shit, they got caught. Dude, the situation about to explode. Because somebody over here is so insecure. It's almost making me feel like collective. Um, If your person find out, or like say like your person who they were fucking with come and try to tell you of some old shit. And then they find out that person that they were fucking with, it, it, it's, a, it's over. It's a wrap. They better get out of town or something because they coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they want to keep you a secret. But keeping a secret and getting caught, huh? Oh, yeah. Getting caught cheating, finding evidence is making me feel like that secret is going to tell on this, this person, this divine masculine. I'm getting divine masculine. That's when the shit is going to explode. Now, I will say, of course, divine masculine can be male or female. It's whoever is operating dominantly out of their masculine energy. So we have sex shop and pregnancy <laughs> This loosey goosey motherfucker. He got a loosey goosey pregnant. Or or a loosey goosey got pregnant by somebody. Expecting pregnancy test, expecting sex shop. This shit is a ooh, this is a hater. Uh sexual protection, police. Investigated, I'm telling you. I told you that police energy was an investigating, and here it is. Yeah. Somebody, you, yeah, because you all in your feelings. Caution, love story, fake apology. Okay, so that person is all in their feelings because they don't got caught. What else can you tell me? Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? Let's put it on the table. He said, yep. Oh, there we go. What's this? Love story. Once upon a time, it was, but she, somebody over here was undercover, be in the house, sleep around. Shit, ass is hot. Dick and let me shut up. But yeah, and, and they'll sleep with your man, male or female. Damn. They said, bring it on out. Woo. Ah. Now you're pissed off. Somebody thought they had a love story here until they found out whoever they was trying to keep the secret. <laughs> be fucking around, pissed off, about to explode. Bad choices. I'm telling you, toxic. I'm telling you. Look at collective. If this, if this is your person, and they was had, had a little secret here, you know, a little secret side. Whoever the fuck, chick, well, uh, boot thing. I'm hearing work wife, husband, whoever. That guy caught. They got caught up with because of evidence that been shown on them. That one better be careful because if they were the provider of this evidence, your person is going to explode. And that's the bad choice for your person. That's a bad choice for this third party. It, it's, it's going down. <coughs> yeah. Oh, they said right here. Okay, let's do the five. Let's do the ten cards for you. <clears throat> because of the bad choices. The bad choices that they made that were toxic. Realistic stains. Okay, some of you guys could have found that shit. 
check yourself. Dude, you was checking your person. Uh-huh. Checking they, they clothes and shit. You found some evidence. It could be red lipstick stains or it could be a strand of not your hair. <laughs> okay. Or, or some shit. Pennies and drawers. Who knows? But yeah. Child. But your person is pissed because whoever they was trying to keep the secret and they thought they had a love affair with, this was they, they chose somebody over you, collective trigger warning, but hey, we all grown. They was trying to kidnap, and I always said this is, they was trying to keep somebody a secret from you. They got fucking caught. With the love story being in the center position on the 10 card spread, they feeling new. Or they thought they had a love affair. And they, they <laughs> thank you for the confirmation. Collective. Oh, this is this is somebody who you was with. They hooked up with somebody else. It could be an ex or somebody new. Take the message as it resonates. <laughs> thank you for the confirmation. They fell in love. Only to find out. They fell in love with a hoe. Community dick. And now they piss. This situation about to explode with this person. They was trying to keep a secret from you, collector. Damn. Let's go. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, Somebody is expecting a new beginning. They got caught. You could have had blood. This is causing the divorce or a breakup. Okay, breaking soul contracts. Twin flame contracts is what I'm getting, baby. It's a wrap. Because somebody was over here shopping around for sex, shopping their sex off or something like that, trying to burn evidence, okay? Oh, shit. Burning evidence that they was tricking off money. Oh, um, shit. Sex shop, you know, everything about sex in there. I'm here just doing all kind of child. Anywho, somebody got pregnant, got caught up, got pregnant. Okay. That secret got pregnant. Oh, shit. Okay, for some of you guys, look at it. I mean, if your person did. Uh, leaving and, and, and went on and created and built a family with that person and y'all got back together? You can re reverse that. <laughs> now, this is you expecting from your ex that they got to go. You, how the wife become the side chick? <laughs> that's the end. That's for some of you guys. It's some of you. Hey. That's, that's, that's like a... um. That's almost like... Two divine counterparts are twins that just trying to get it right, but they moved too fast and got caught up. That That's a small percentage of you guys, but and somebody here, yeah, they going through the, it's in the collective that I'm picking up on. But, you know, that's like 2% of you guys. But um, on the other note, yeah, yeah. You, could, so you got the evidence that somebody is having a baby, trying to start a new beginning. This true love story is a divorce. It's going to end a divorce. Your love story with you and their new love story with them. It's a wrap. Because somebody was over here shopping that sex off. Okay? Somebody was over here envious and jealous. Falling apart and shit. This is your person about you, envious and jealous. Now, I will say this. Also, too, when I switch the energies and look up, look after this separation, this breaking of this soul contract or this div twin flame union or this divine counterpart contract, you will find true love. In the middle of this one getting caught for being promiscuous, fucking around, trying to keep secrets, mad as fuck, you find true love. Hey. For some of you guys, your person was expecting that. <laughs> like, man, if I, I know I'm going to lose the collective, and I know they're going to go on, and they're going to find who, who, yeah. This one right here knew that exactly what the fuck they was doing with keeping you a secret, a.k.a. keeping this other person a secret from you, collective, in first position. Mm. What else can you tell us, Holy Spirit? 
fake friends. Fake friends could be involved in this situation right here. Somebody could have been listening to it. Listen to it. <laughs> listening to fake friends. Okay. They could have been taking advice. It's two of them. Now it, it's giving me um either best buds or or um like a couple. Uh, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, you know, somebody that's been yeah, but they was influencing a person with this promiscuous they said put it right here. Yeah. So they could have met this. <laughs> Hold on. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, 4th of July at 4 o'clock. So 4 4 is 8. So, okay, so 4 stability. This, yeah. I heard it could have it could have happened at a friend's house. Some some of you guys, your person used to hook up with this other person, this other uh, energy they was thought they was falling in love with at a friend's house. Somebody got something on recording. <gasps> somebody got some video of somebody being promiscuous. Somebody could have got a hold to it. Announcement, expression, re reveal. Didn't I say? Oh, was it? No, I was talking to my baby. Oh, did I? I don't know. Oh my god, I be channeling. I be forgetting. But oh, somebody got ooh, they could ooh, they could get, get recorded, get in the room, and this one would do when your person find what's this over here? I'm, oh shit, we got ins okay, insecure and outdated. So somebody is insecure because they, they, I'm hearing beliefs is outdated beliefs. Um, yeah, somebody it's a spy here, um, but. <clears throat> This recording and this anger management. When they see somebody getting a room right here, somebody gonna this fake ass friend is gonna show this person about that that, that this third party that, 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 that be hoeing around. This fake ass friend wanna let this masculine or feminine, whoever it is, know about who they love. Watch them, uh huh. Watch them get a room. This fake ass friend is gonna tell this masculine, and the reason why I say fake ass friend because the reason why this fake ass friend is gonna tell this masculine and show this masculine this evidence about their person that they chose over you that they actually fell in love with. The reason why they're gonna show it is because either they fucking that third party. Or they want to. They don't want your person to have that third party. They fake ass friend. Hmm. So. Oh, let me go right here. Excuse me. This go right here. This is put that right there. Okay. So, um, yeah, they could have went to an old hotel. <laughs> I heard Snooty Fox. Damn. Okay, I mean, <laughs> oh shit, what they try to recreate? Oh shit, <laughs> oh, somebody trying to recreate some shit. A copycat, I can't make this up. Damn, try to recreate some shit. Damn, doing drugs. So somebody could be fucking with a copycat trying to recreate some shit. Doing drugs. This person, they they fighting for what they got. Oh shit! Already knowing the tea. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with this, cause it's crazy. But I like this deck. So let's go ahead and um, clarify with the other deck that I just added to the family. Uh, let's see. Oh, I said it there. I did too. The situation, but well, then, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and see what is going on here. 
Okay, where we at? Ah, 3002. Okay. Somebody could be 32, 23. Mm, somebody that's 32 could be messing with somebody that's 23. Something like that. The one that got pregnant is 23. R, 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 um, that's, a, that's the age gap between if your person and this third party. We have colors here, so. Somebody, true colors is coming out. Somebody is trying to prepare themselves, fixing their tie, cleaning that shit up. Uh huh. lovely pictures, okay, reminiscing, feeling very nostalgic, trying to get their shit together because they shut. Guilty as charged. So they can see all this shit. Mm. All right, then. Shit. Let's go. Holy Spirit, let's get three shuffles. And then we go ahead and get it. Okay. Promiscuous fake-ass friends. I will say this. Um, for some of you guys, your person, this, this is like a, a sex circle. Mm -hmm. Everybody fucking everybody and their friends, too. You know, they hang out, kick it, or talk shit. You know, just it's chopping it up like a friend circle do. I mean, come on. I mean, just, I mean, it's outdated thinking. I mean, I shit, I, I used to do that. You know, when I turned 40, I cut that shit out. <laughs> but, you know, that's when I turned my life around. This is like a whole lot of partying, you know. But somebody fell in love with somebody while they partying. But it's, uh, they fell in love with a hoe, male or female. Almost making me feel like these fake-ass friends knew what this person was about. But because they're jealous and envious of your person, they let that shit go. Mm. Recording them and shit. Not, yeah, something happened. Something. You know what? With this getting in a room and recording and how hot this one here right here is. Being out there slipping around and shit. Hot in the ass, you know. Free fall. With your man. Almost making me feel like this some taboo shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody got on camera some taboo shit that your person has done. Uh-huh. I'm a fuck it. I'm gonna say it male or female with the same sex. Mm-hmm. But this is the type of person that when you meet them, when you see them, when you hang around them, they're against that. Undercover. Male or female, okay? I'm just saying. Somebody could be all religious and holy and they don't do that and that's against God and they over here chomping carpet like a motherfucker. R, R, R. This nigga, shit, he hard to the mud. You know, he running these streets. He handling the business. Yeah, I look up to him. He's solid. He's solid and over here taking dick. I'm just saying. That's what's here. Thank you for the confirmation. Tells from the heart. Uh, somebody's not living in their truth. But it's feeling like, you know, and honestly, with the fake friends and promiscuous friend group circle, it's recording that. Okay? And this is going on with somebody that your person actually had feelings for. Or, 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 um, yeah, the, the person they fucking with actually have true feelings for them. Take it as it resonates. But uh, this was your true love. That went over there and fell in love with somebody else. It happens. This is what we need to heal from, collective, if this is your story. And, and it don't have to be the whole story verbatim. But, I mean, if you recognize a thing or two or you resonate with a thing or two of what I'm saying as I'm telling the story of what I see, then, yeah, that's your, that's your message, man. Right? Okay? And apply it to... You and your situation as you see fit. And now that, that's it. That's your message. That's how you use your intuition. It. Okay. All right. Somebody needed to hear that. I'm glad I was able to tell you that. Let's go. What can you tell me about keeping you a secret? Um, whoever is being kept a secret, they shit. They mad at each other. That's what I'm getting. Mm, somebody got something. It's like, oh, okay, I'll take one. You got a soul tie with that secret collector. Could be a karmic soul tie. Or let's see. 
Oh, we have heart attack, pleading man. This third party, oh shit, that, this third party about to explode. Because the, you have a soul tie with your person. <clears throat> this feel like reunion with pleading man. Look how you embrace them. Even though y'all probably won't come back into union, this is a lot of forgiveness here. This 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 third party that was kept a secret from you was about to explode. They know. They know. Shit is about to pop off in flames. Especially either you're you got pregnant by your your old person. Because it's, it's, you know, that makeup sex. Okay. Or, or, this third party. That's a secret. They pregnant. And then they find out that they, you know, your person still wants you. Y'all y'all came to some type of reconciliation or understanding. And this heart attack right here, the heart dropped to the bottom of their shoes. This is why this... <clears throat> third party is about to explode. This third party thought that they was going to replace you with this copycat energy. That motherfucker must be on drugs. Yep. And they can replace my collector from that person. The fuck you doing? And now they want to fight for your person here and shit. How that twisted? Both of them doing it. Or they, your person experimented with some shit. I mean, it doesn't mean that they, you know, they keep doing it, but they did some old freaky shit off of some drugs. I'm hearing ecstasy. I understand. <laughs> Look, already knowing. <laughs> the tea about that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. But you know. That's how it happened. Uh-huh. You kicking in and, and, and hanging out and it's almost like shit damn near raving if you want to get with it. But I'm just saying, uh, yeah, I'm 46. You damn right. Praise God, I made it here with my bullshit. That's wrong. But look, it, it, that's what happened. Because it is so tight. This passion is so tight. It looks like fire. Dead peacocks and bandages. Somebody's ego is bruised. With dead peacocks, you know, peacocks, they show it in the motherfucker. I know I'm beautiful. Look at me, especially the male peacocks. They got the beautiful feathers. And with bandages, this when ego got beat up and bruised. That heart. Yep, guilty as charged. Mm. That's, mm. So for some of you guys, they actually did fall in love with the uh, third party and it was promiscuous because it was, they, you know, hot like love like fire. They for some of you guys they could have had a um a um soul contract with this third party that they had to resolve. It's making me feel like it's karmic because of the promiscuous the promiscuous and friends or something, but it's almost making me feel like it's this is a lesson that your person had to learn <clears throat> in this lifetime in order to move on in the next lifetime. So here it is like this is the last time you're gonna be taught this lesson or you just gonna be shit out of the fucking luck. Okay? And can your person ain't sitting in spiritual jail? Like, I don't know. I fucked up. Like, damn. Shit. Uh, yeah. Because they, they chose lust over love or money over love or something that they put before you, collector. Something or someone that caused this breakup of a true love story between you and your person. Because they done fucked around and thought they found it somewhere else with this one right here. <laughs> So, you know, hey. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-uh. I, I always do this because I be talking. I always do this. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Pleading man and heart attack. Yeah, there we go. These two came out. Excuse me. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, caught up. What, what can you tell me about caught up? Let's get one. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> the lies you tell got caught in all of them. Okay. All the lies about some unfinished business that your person has had with somebody they had a soul tie with. 
And this is swinging off of both y'all ends. The, the third party and y'all. Yeah, both y'all have some unfinished business. And the reason why I say both y'all, because with this right here, I mean, this look like an 11. And look who's looking. That lies you tell. See what I'm saying? This third party, the one that they chose over you. And, and, and yeah, they know. They know. They, they side-eyeing your person because they lying about how they feel about you, Collective. Or they lying about them wanting to come back towards you. Y'all got unfinished business at the altar. This commitment, this, 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 this covenant. That's what I'm hearing. Covenant? Yeah. Y'all getting it back together is on hold. So, y'all getting back together is on hold. But this man's pleading is almost making me feel as though it's um, uh, uh, slowly but surely making his way back together. This is what I'm getting, like the beginning of a, of a cycle where you and your person is operating in forgiveness and, and mutual love. You know, like uh, agreeing and... and, and Agreeing on, um, how should I say, say like you was at odds with your ex-husband, your baby mother, father, your ex-wife, something like that. Y'all was at odds, but y'all come to a point in life where y'all know y'all have to co-parent, y'all have to be civil, and y'all have to be cordial, and you know, so y'all do that. And then, you know, it's like, oh, shit, you're not so bad. I mean, it wasn't that bad, was it? Y'all get that old vibe back and boo yeah. And this one right here that they chose over you, they know it. Okay. Some of you guys already got a divorce. And then all of a sudden, like, coming back around and, and it, the energy is different. I heard because shit, y'all never stopped loving each other. You just wasn't dealing with the bullshit. And now the other person know. And they done changed their shit. Because it's like, oh. It's almost making me feel like they had a good with you and then they thought they could have more outside of you and they went over there and that shit was all fucked up and now they appreciate you. Hmm. Forbidden love. Boom. The tower. There ain't no love like yours. Love like fire. Somebody got burnt with this forbidden love with the boom and forbidden fruit. Okay, for some of you guys, they could have hooked up with this little secret that they had um, at a party or something like that. Or, you know, I'm getting Instagram model. You know, I posted your pics of all your, you know, you know and boom, they, they, they hit it off. <laughs> and they, it got hot. It was hot like fire. They, they Yeah, it was very sexual with you and your person. And then they, so they got burned. The tower done came. This is a hell of a tower. This tower make me feel, again, bit forbidden fruit in the boom with the tower. That's STD. And I've been picking up all that energy in, like, the last week or so, or I would say the last uh, three or four readings that I've done, that this energy is here. This is a karmic year, you know? So this group that I'm tapping into, I know I'm tapping into my high vibers. This is what's happening with your person. Some of them could have went back on drugs. This is what I'm getting. Slipping back into darkness. Slipping in the darkness. Okay? And you, and you, shit. Some of you guys were still fighting for this love. Okay? Fighting for your love is what I'm hearing. Yeah. You wasn't going to give up on your person. But, you know, they... They gave up on themselves, and you had to let it go. And they went over there with the one that they chose anyway. It could be drugs, could be a woman or a man. It's something that they value more than the connection with you. And it got fucking burnt. And with this big ass, I don't know about YouTube and my, but you know, look, somebody, yeah, somebody burning that shit. Or this forbidden love. That they ran to all of a sudden just crumbled with this third party that they kept a secret. What is this tower? Okay, so I'm going to bring out the tower. But I'm going to keep this one right here off count. Uh-uh. Let me put it right there because I don't... Uh -uh. <sighs> Fingers, bloody rings, dead peacock. Yes, somebody's ego is fucked. 
Oh, what can you tell me about this tower? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about the tower? Um, I'm not going to clarify all the cards. We'll, we'll be here longer than when I want to. But I am going to clarify the ones that uh, I want to get the message from. Because it's a clear message of what's going on and why. Okay. Oh, shit. The ancestors done brought the boom on them. Woo! Cold as ice. Oh, shit. Damn. Your ancestors. Collective. Damn, they they was heartless and they ruthless. Baby, the power of three. It's three main ones that is cold with it. It's no love for this master. Shit. Better be careful. Boom, boom in the room. Okay, so collective. Um, thank your ancestors. Um if you don't have, I will say give, because um, if you don't have an altar, uh, this uh, this is probably the perfect time in your life to start acknowledging and honoring the 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 bloodline and the the the, the, the DNA lineage that came before you to make you possible. Okay, so yeah, and and it is supernatural, and yeah. Is more natural than natural. So it's making me feel like for some of you guys, you're starting to pay attention or understand or starting to get the sign of synchronicities that you have uh, outside supernatural help, basically. You have supernatural help and it's coming through the, the, the influences of your family and your bloodline that you ha that has passed on already transitioned already but that love is still there so you know and it's really really making me feel as though this is like somebody's mother or grandmother and they sisters it's three of them and they they not playing excuse me and jack of all trades oh shit this is a game they be game banging Oh, shit, they are the Pandora's box. Look, you want to open this bitch? That, that's what your person did, and they brought the hammer. They opened up Pandora's box, and what was sitting in Pandora's box when they did this old bullshit with this forbidden fruit, when they touched on this other person outside of your connection that was true love, when they stepped outside of it, oh yeah, Pandora's box. And what was in Pandora's box was your ancestors that was cold in the motherfucker. Because they made that decision. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that one right there. So, you know. Oh, this is, okay, so, okay, we're going to put these back. Okay, thank you. He said, put them back. Yeah. So, you know, something could have popped off at a room, at a hotel room that your person in this third party was at. Okay. Somebody was insecure and getting in a room. So, somebody wasn't safe at home, is what I'm getting as well. Yeah. So, somebody wasn't safe at home because shit, somebody done popped the fuck off and they had to go get a room for their safety because they was insecure. They didn't feel safe being in that environment with your person. This could be you. I mean, excuse me, sorry. This could be your person or this could be the person they chose over you. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So somebody, you know, it could have been a fight that broke out or argument that broke out and somebody just got a room because they did not feel safe here with this one. This could have been the third party or the third party. Could, yeah. Let's see. All right, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about this true love? I'm going to see. I'm going to clarify true love. Anger management. Okay, so true love, anger management, and expecting new beginnings. This periscopus one, we already know what the fuck. Okay. Um, I could do either one. Because these kind of go hand in hand, but they separate, which I'm kind of glad because there's some type of divine intervention for, for your person not to pop the fuck off. I'm hearing life-saving energy, okay? Um, oh. So. For some of you guys, Archangel Michael have to step in between your person and this third party because your person was really about to do something with this 
third party because of this anger and frustration about what this third party lied about or something like that. But Archangel Michael is stepping in on your person's behalf because, no, you're not going to do this. It could be a drug-infested, you know, heated argument or something like that. Or this one right here could be high. I'm getting um, pain pills or prescription medication. That's their drug of choice. But since they don't have drug of choice, with that, look, oh, here, okay, damn. I didn't even look at this. But yeah, pills all over this motherfucker. I told you I'll be channeling it. I was just, then look over there, yeah. A pill head. Somebody fucking with a pill head. And they think that the, 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 the they, they say it's for such and such ailment they have. Uh-uh. This a pill head. She get them legal drugs, or he. And this one right here, if they pregnant and doing drugs, the fuck? Your person is about to explode on this one. Okay? This one, right? Your person found out that this one was out, out here doing drugs and fucking and sucking and smoking it. And, yeah. And now they're pregnant. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. Yeah. And these fake-ass friends knew it. Mm, mm, mm. So, what can you tell me about this true love? <laughs> These rigged games that you and your person have played with this, this love that you have that caused this breaking of a contract, it will be repaired. Or this is you repairing your heart after having to sever and walk away from this contract here because of those Bridget games. Take the message as it resonates. Either or. Mm -hmm. It's making me feel like you prepare, preparing. Okay, preparing. You healing your heart to prepare, prepare your heart. Excuse me. And your heart been through a whole bunch of shit. A whole bunch of healing. Uh, and these bandages is different ones that damaged this heart that broke it it doesn't have to always be romantic this could be somebody that you you know best friend or somebody that you could count on and all of a sudden it's broken or they broke your heart yeah because it's some old punk ass games that they were playing they were rigid or rigged i should say well what i mean by rigid because that's what i've seen on this but it says rigged. okay uh, so i heard set up to fail when it comes to love, somebody rig, yeah, rig it games, yeah. It's like they, that's what I'm getting. Because the skeletons in the closet, somebody, it's almost like they purposely sabotage this connection with you, collective. This is why this divorce, I heard, is final. The contract that you and your person have with the most high, mm -mm. you got your walking papers. Yeah, because look, you and your person was never friends. You was expecting you guys to, you know, somebody was expect. I would say this, with this divorce, somebody, you was expecting that you and your person was solid. That was your friend, blah, blah, blah. They wouldn't do this. And then, boom, this happened. And, boom, yeah. When it happened against true love, you saw their true colors. All them motherfucking skeletons came out the closet that they was trying to hold on and keep in that motherfucker. But time done ran out on that ass. Yeah, your person knew that this was bound to happen. They knew you was going to get the last laugh. Because, shit, you done turned into a sweet butterfly. You know, been through the transformation of life. Of your soul, of your emotions. Of your lessons. You passed. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh shit! I always do that because I be talking. This, that right there just gives me nerve. But um, honestly, um, <clears throat> I will say this: when you get to this point, it's because it's making me feel like some of you guys are right here, right here, in the middle of your healing. In the middle of severing that tie to your person that you truly love. 
Because you had to heal your heart. You had to love yourself more than you love this person. Yeah. I heard don't be embarrassed about what happened to you because this person being untrue. Your love was true. And you patched that motherfucker back on up. And it's still ticking. And I must say, with the collective energy, and this a beautiful energy, this is it. This is it. This is the last one. Depending on if you... Uti Thank you for the confirmation. Depending on if you utilize the lessons that was learned. If you, if you operate and you live your life in the lessons that was learned, yeah. Yep. So, what can you tell me about this situation about to explode? Okay, they want that one. Okay, what about what is about to explode? What can you tell me? Yeah, popping. Ooh. Somebody, I heard somebody want that last laugh. Ugh, gut feeling. This is making me feel as though somebody, they want the last laugh. They want some get back. They want some revenge. Okay? Because they good feeling was true. And now, oh yeah, they about to explode. It's making me feel like this person that they chose over you, they good feeling, they found out that it was true. That you and this, your person is healing. They come back around to heal this heart, this true love. I'm saying Somebody you separated with or from. Mm -hmm. This third party could be expecting a baby. Mm -mm -mm. Magical moments. Whoa. I heard magical moments, karmic lessons. Whoa. Ah, well. For some of you guys, your person could have been expecting a divorce from you and this. Things switched and changed. That's for some of you guys. Shit. Ego death. Look, dead pinnacles. I mean, excuse me, dead peacock. Oh, it could be dead pinnacles. Somebody ain't got no money or new opportunity. And they're like, shit, fuck this. I'm going to where I know love is hot. <clears throat> okay? To the point where it is, yeah. It's like fire, love. So whatever this third party that they was providing when it came to a lot of lust, a lot of, you know, things that they did together when it came to the pleasures, no, this is the most pleasurable energy your person want to be in. Somebody don't want to be out there hoeing around and being promiscuous with him or her or they or them. Uh-uh. It's almost like, you know, shit, somebody grew up. They don't want to do that no more. Like fire in the riches, that ship has sailed. I can't make it up. So again, three of them. This is feeling like, yeah, somebody could have been in a polyamorous relationship even. And shit, some of you guys were in a polyamorous relationship, but you just didn't know it. You kept the, kept the main wife at the house and then went over here and had a whole household full of bitches. Uh-huh, and witches. Because they the, love like fire. They was lusting. They love to lust. I can't make this up, baby. But that shit can sell. Gone. Sexual healing. Oh, see, you did in dreams. Oh, God. Uh, my person. Look at your person got a sex. Uh, uh, they got to heal that. They got to heal that sex desire. Because, look at Now, 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 now. They not got over fucking with this person they chose you. Or person that they chose over you, excuse me. That shit done fizzled out. Now they over here because you looking brand new. That's what it's feeling like. Over here minding your business. Drinking your tea. Living your life. Going to work, come home, take care of home. Get up and do the same thing five days a week. <laughs> if you're lucky. if Yeah, if you're blessed, excuse me. Thank you for the correction. If you're blessed. But, um, your yeah, person, a hot mess. What can you tell me about these fake ass friends? You know, since they want to come out here, they caused the ending. They caused both of the endings for your person. It's making me feel like these fake ass friends is jealous. 
That person must have had something or looked a certain way or had potential or something like that. So many people out here. And there's so many motherfucking secrets. So it made me feel like a friend circle. Something like that. Your, your boys, your niggas, your girls, your bitches. You know, two groups got, got together and they became one big clique. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. That was set up to fucking fail. Some of them even die. Spiritually first, then physically. Depending on how, how hard-headed they are about the bullshit, especially when it comes to sex. A whole lot of sex magic. Now give fuck YOLO. The <laughs> Child, you know them consequences. Ooh, they out of time. <gasps> them consequences. They out of time. Oh, God, I couldn't even get it out of my mouth good enough. And the drinks of pain. See, alcoholic. It's out of time. You're going to drink this pain that you cause. The most high got a special recipe for this one. Damn. Egg. Somebody want to reach out to your collective, but they out of time. It's, it's a wrap. They can't, they can't talk to you. They can't come near you. So some of them could be trying to cope by drinking, doing drugs here, trying to cover up the pain that they have caused for fucking with a forbidden love. They, so in other words, forbidden mean they already knew not to fuck with that one because they shit's going to fail or it's going to be a bad decision or something of the sort. They were told not to fuck with this one. It's, I'm hearing family members. Mm. Sure. Because they were starting a new beginning with this one. And this one turned out to be fucking hoe. And somebody got them on videotape going to go get fucked. At the, I'm hearing street walk good. Damn. A old ass street walk. You still on the streets? <laughs> talking about you still got it. That's, that's a channel message for Pacific somebody, but that, that's who I'm talking about. Your know, person, no, mm -mm, they ain't with it. Mm -mm. What can you tell me about this anger management? Holy Spirit. Mm. What can you tell me about this anger management? This is going to be the last one of this oh, that I am going to clarify. A special recipe. Oh, shit. You free to go. They want to break free. Some of them could be resorting to voodoo, con con contacting a, a high priestess, a voodoo doctor, something like that. Somebody could have did some voodoo on this person. Oh, special recipe of hatred because somebody left. Somebody that got like fire, you gone. Did oh shit. This is that person. Piss. Because they had a gut feeling. Hey, yep, because they had a gut feeling. That they that somebody's going to have the last laugh because you left. Or this could be your person about you, collector. Take the message as it resonates. This could also, too, be the person that they cheated on you for and then they left them to come cheat on them with you for. This is them. Yeah. Silent cries. Somebody, and they healing silently, okay? Somebody got shut down. Everything they thought of self, everything they thought that they was gaining and getting in life, that shit is a wrap. We seen bake failure. Ain't no money in the bank, spiritually or physically. Damn. Okay, so let's just go on and get it. And then, um, let's see. Holy Spirit. How does the collective person feel about the collective regarding these energies? <laughs> oh. Mm. I heard witchy now. Okay. I don't mm. now That's like a hunt. Or oh, that's like late. It's sneaky. Something that was done in the dark. Something like that. Somebody out at night. Freaks come out at night. Uh, I told you I'm getting this whole ass energy right here. 
Or somebody, they just go out there and fuck it with them. Yeah. Okay, so this one right here, like, kicking it with their fake-ass friends at nighttime. Mmm. Last one? Okay. All right, who's dead? Mm. Damn. This last one, I'm going to get some get back from this third party. Mm-hmm. Because I'm getting a... a Feel like they set up, or this must and feel like they set up, or stuff because it ain't adding up. The math ain't mathing, and I can see it in the energies. It's like it's there, but this is how come that side eye is at. Because <sighs> both of them do this to each other. Mm. In other words, they still don't want no medicine. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my voice has went gotten so deep, and I've been aware of that ever since one of my babies pointed it out to me. But when I be channeling that masculine energy. It get low because, you know, I don't know. I just noticed it right now again. Like, oh. <laughs> but that is, it's a masculine energy. It's a solid one. He not, uh-uh. It's making me feel like uh, lost in what directions, lost in what is a good decision. That's what I got. How to be a good person. How to show up for somebody, you know, mama, daddy, kids. Yeah. Yeah, moon energy. Something is unknown. Pisces energy. Something is revealed. Very emotional here. Somebody don't know if it's somebody giving to somebody else. This is how come they left out in the cold. Five of pentacles, six of pentacles. Holy Spirit. <laughs> how does the collector's person feel about the collector in these current energies? Dealing with these energies. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Thank you. They spying and looking and gathering information. They want to talk to you, but don't know how. Hair fit at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so for some of you guys, they could be spying on you at work or trying to get back into you. Ooh. There you go. The hair fit and the empress. This is how they feel about you. But they showing up at, they say, bring it out. Okay. Yeah, they could, yeah, they could commit to you. Some of you guys, this could be a twin flame, heavy, heavy, heavy Taurus energy, Scorpio Aries energy here, but a tower has fallen right into the favor of divine feminine, queen of pentacles. Oh, because you done been through that shit and you still stand. Damn. And this is what your person is looking at. You divine feminine. For some of you guys, your person is looking back at the past to see if there's something left back there or something like that. But because you're looking back, truth is right here moving forward. Where the empress and the almost like your person is getting divinely guided, but they kind of resisting here. What is this page of swords? Hmm. Thank you. Six of swords and the knight of wands. So, I mean, I said knight, excuse me, king of wands. I'm so sorry. Um, somebody could be acting like a knight of wands. Justice here until they grew up. The ace of wands. Oh, yeah. <sighs> and the lovers. With the nine of cups. This is what I'm saying. Look, with the justice and eight of wands right here. With the lovers and the nine of cups. This right here concerned me. This introvert. Somebody done did something too damn fast. One night stand while they partying and shit. This person could have got pregnant or something like that. Or they had to deal with something that tied or locked down your person to that situation. They want to take action towards you. You, I mean, come on, the lovers and the justice, yeah. But with this right here is something that is blocking and stopping this. Yeah. They got to be divinely guided once they make a decision in love, like this is you. Once you make a decision in love, you're going to be divinely guided to the one that the universe has set aside just for you. Either your divine counterpart is going to get their shit together and, and adhere to the contract that you two have created before you re reincarnated, or 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 uh, they don't have to let go. Mm. Simple as that. It's damn near ain't no R's. It's just let go. You ain't, you, you gonna do that or don't do nothing. These eyes are very white, very pure eyes.